Currently we're having two cichlids with swimming bladder problems. This is a jaguar cichlid, which we had for a little under a year. Came with a hole in the head, which healed up, and it was doing fabulously. But then it stopped being able to inflate its swimming bladder for, for the last, I want to say, three months. still swims and maybe even eats sometimes, eats sometimes, but, but that's, uh, okay, that's number one out of the current problematic fish. The second one is uh, Mascajera sargentea or Silver Vieja, it has the same problem, the female. Right there, sitting on the bottom, still feeding and behaving fine, but she just can't swim in the water column. Same as the jaguar, she just drops to the bottom, almost like a rock. The silver, uh, the silver vieja male was suffering from the same affliction for a long time. I mean, it lasts a long time, months or sometimes half a year and then it perished. And we had other cichlids that developed the same kind of problem. So I'm not sure what to make of it. I wonder if we have some kind of a bug in our system to, that affects them. But then the Oscars will almost never have a problem with them like that. I, I don't think we ever had a problem with Oscars like that. They usually do quite well. Neither did we have a problem like this uh, with the Starry Night Cichlid or Tilapia Polini from Madagascar. And we never had problems like this with, uh, with Midas or Red Devils. So this, if this is some kind of a common denominator, it's uh, selective. It's not for all the cichlids. From my memory, uh, the Jaguar, the Silva Vieja, maybe another Vieja had this problem too. So I'm not, uh, again, I'm not sure what to make of it. The tilapia usually are very robust. The African cichlids are also robust. I mean they, they don't they don't show this ailment, right? And the peacock cichlids um, they usually don't show it either. But definitely se several cichlids have shown that, maybe half a dozen over the years. And right now we have two of them like that. Could be the age, I mean they're not young by any means. The Jaguar is probably about five to seven years old. It should live for 15 years normally. And the Vieja Cichlid is also uh, seven years old. So they're close to their, getting close to their maximal lifespan, especially the, the Vieja, but we'll see. The Akara are new, they just came, they're doing well. And the Kalo, the Oscar from, from, from Rio, from the Rio Caqueta. Is also fine, and but he's also new. Usually, it happens after some time. <laughs>